Welcome to the video, everyone. Uh, I'm just going to be taking a look at how you fix invisible faces inside of Lumion. Now, the reason why uh, the faces actually come in as invisible is Lumion is a game engine, and a lot of game engines, or it's very similar to one, a lot of game engines will actually remove the back face of a plane um, because then the game only has to worry about rendering like one side. Um, I, I find for Archviz and stuff like that, it ends up being more of sort of like an annoying thing that it does. Um, but if you get a lot of, um, if you get models from like CG Trader and things like that, I often see that this is the case. Um, and I, the reason is um, why you only really see it with those ones is that SketchUp doesn't have this problem for the most part. Like I think that when they were creating uh, Lumion, I could be wrong with this. I think they actually made it so that SketchUp specifically wouldn't have this problem because SketchUp is very unique in the sense that you can have a completely flat plane, but you can apply textures to both sides of it. Um, that's something that you can't typically do in a program like Blender. Um, I think 3ds Max is the same way, but um, regardless, it's uh, it's something that I ran into quite a bit and I didn't know how to fix it. So um, if you do have Blender, I'll show you the way that I think is the very easiest to fix this. Um, there might be some other ways uh, if you have an FBX file, but I would recommend doing it with Blender. So basically, or sorry, if we look at this um, cube first, as you can see, if I move around it, I'll just do this. If I move around it, as you can see, like depending on where I am, you can see certain sides. So if I go inside of here, everything but the floor uh, is going to be visible. And the reason why is because if I go up and look at it like this, the floor is there. So right now I have it basically set up so that only one side of the uh, of the face can show. Um, and I'll show you how you can kind of just test that. So if you go into uh, Blender and you just have an open uh, cube like this, you can go up to this corner here uh, in the viewport overlays and you can turn on face orientation. So everything that is red inside of Blender will not uh, be visible inside of Lumion. So if we actually go inside of the cube, as you can see, the floor is red and all the walls are blue, which is the exact same as what we were just saying here. So there's a couple of ways that you can fix this. So if you're not going to be inside of the object, what you can do is you can click on the cube, hit tab to go into edit mode, and then just shift left click all of these faces. And now the, the hotkey for flipping them is you can hit Alt and N and then the little flip comes up or you can go up to mesh and go normal flip. Now, as you can see, it's blue. So if you look at the bottom, it's blue. We go all around, it's blue. So what we're going to do is we're going to go export FBX. Um, I'm going to delete this invisible. I'm going to hop back in Lumion. And we're going to re-import this. Right. So now that we've done that, as you can see, no matter where we go on the outside of this cube, um, it's uh, it's going to be invisible. Or sorry, the inside is going to be invisible, but the outside is uh, completely um, opaque. So there is actually a way that we can get both sides. Um, like, so the inside and the outside uh, don't have uh, invisible faces. So what I like to do is I like to just add a solidify modifier. So in Blender, if you just click on the cube, go to the wrench, add modifier, and then you go solidify. And I just like to set this down to something like very small. Like, yeah, so that's that's too small. But if I just go up slightly, so something like that's fine. Um, and it just depends like if you want to make like the walls like five inches thick or something like that, like then you can. But as you can see, if we're inside of the cube now, then everything's blue outside is blue. But if we just kind of position the camera so we're inside of the two walls, it's a very yeah, it's a very small area. But as you can see, like if we put this camera angle inside of Lumion, you can still see through the inside, but it's kind of irrelevant because you shouldn't really ever get that angle. Um, so, yeah, so let's uh, apply this. And now that's kind of like set in. So if I, you don't have to do this part, but I'll just show you. If you go into wireframe mode, as you can see, like there is kind of a small gap between those. Um, and this is kind of how you get around doing it. Obviously, as I mentioned in SketchUp, you can have um, textures on both sides of the face, but you can't, since you can't do that in Blender, the easiest thing is you just have two faces, one facing out, one facing in. Uh, and then everything in the middle doesn't matter because you shouldn't really see it. So if we go to export FBX, I'll delete invisible again. And now we're going to bring this in one more time. So now we should be able to go in here. Yeah. And now, as you can see, the uh, cube is completely uh, like it's you're completely boxed in, but then you can't see in from this angle. Uh, the reason why I wanted to show this in particular is that I am 
I've been working with a trick that I wanted to share with people. It's not perfect, but it is kind of a way that might be able to help out lighting interior scenes. Uh, and it's actually doing this. So what we're, what we'll be doing in Blender is we'll be making like a small room and then flipping the outside faces so that you can see in the room at all times. So when you're inside the room, you can't see out. Uh, and this is going to let light pass through the walls. So we can just put something like overcast real skies on. And then you should be able to just um, have kind of the interior scene if you can't get it to work that has real skies. And so there were some issues you run into doing this, but I did think the results were better even with the small drawback. So that video is going to be coming out 10 or 15 minutes after this one, hopefully. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to release this one first. So uh, if you wanna see more about that, please go check out that video. Uh, if this one helped you out, I'd really appreciate if you hit that like and subscribe button. And um, yeah, for everyone who's been uh, consistently watching my videos and are subscribed to the channel, I just wanna say thank you very much. Uh, it motivates me a lot to uh, keep making videos and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.